everybody and welcome to Bunky's workshop. I am Bunky and let's have this little bit of fun together. So I was downstairs in my workshop area and this poor little thing was sitting in the back corner screaming, help me. <laughs> but anyways, um, this is a Bernina. Um, this looks like your old, your Panasonic or your Jet Flows, that kind of thing. Um, I really don't know who made this. Um, I know um, well, I guess, let me read the label. Let me see. <sighs> Manufactured for Bernina of America. Aurora, Illinois, USA. And it is a E as an excellent 178278, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 10 amps. Um, and I think the date on here is 1985. I don't know. I'm not the specialist on these, as you know. But anyways, it's Bernina model 6100. So let me see if you can see that on there. So Bernina 6100 in black and silver with some red. And it does say right on the front, made for Bernina. So um, if you guys know the company that maybe who made this, um, let me know. Um, like I said, I just dragged this out of the corner of my shop. I had forgotten all about it. And I've not done any research on it or anything at all. Why do I always get the hiccups? Anyway, what I want to do was get it out, take a look at it, give you a little bit of the story um, of why I bought this, and I remember why, it was a long time ago. And I have a bag of the attachments somewhere. Um, and maybe before I end this video, I'll give you a tour, but I'm on the top level of the house, and there's just a lot of construction um, going on. Uh, there's no heat up here right now, that's being taken care of. And uh, there's like 30 feet of bookshelves being built and painted. And uh, there's just a lot going on. Right now, the room that I'm in is the only room that doesn't have construction going on in it. And this is our theater room, entertainment room, whatever. But uh, anyways, I'll do maybe a quick tour before I finish this video so you can kind of see the chaos going on up here. Um, but it's going to be nice when it's done. Like they say, patience. But anyways, so this. My mother-in-law, Dolores, um, who has recently passed away. Um, well, she's been gone a little while, but um, I miss her a lot. Wonderful, wonderful lady. Um, she loved to sew. And she said anything of quality in the sewing world was made by Bernina. Sewing machines and, um, oh, what was the name of the other machine? I can't think of it, it'll come to you. But anyways, all of her machines in her room for sewing was all Bernina. And um, she swore by them that they was the best thing on earth. Well, one day, um, I was looking online at vacuum cleaners and stuff like that, and this popped up. But I'm like, wow, that's cool. So I bought it, used it a couple of times. If I remember correctly, I liked it. And... Uh, Next thing you know, when we moved here, all my vacuums are put in one area downstairs. And sometimes I totally forget what I have down there. Um, so I grabbed this today and I figured we would you know, do a quick video on it. And I was going to clean it and polish it up a little bit. So the bag of tools that goes with this is somewhere downstairs in the shop. And I just can't get to anything right now. But I found the hose. This is a very thick quality hose. Um, that came with it. Um, and it is long. Look at this. It is just solid. Um, it does have your suction relief valve here, which is very hard to use. But, uh, and it does connect in the back here. It has a suction relief valve here. And I forgot how I did this. Oh, there we go. And it goes right in. Done. And uh, anyways, I want to give it a good cleanup. And uh, we could take a look at it. So your bag housing is here. 
As you can see, it does have the fleece bag in it. And it does have a nice uh, clean filter. Now, I don't think this does it. Ah, there we go. Now, it looks like it used to have a cover here. If I'm not, I don't have it. I shouldn't say that. It might be downstairs. I don't even know it. But uh, nice seal. Comes with those really nice fleece bags. All right. There we go. Very nice handle. This thing, it, it has some weight to it, but I found just by carrying it up here, it was it's just very well balanced. Your on and off switch is here on the top rocker switch. You do have a cord release or cable release. And if I remember when I bought this, this was broke. And I had to, it's, um, and the only one that I found so far is this one, which still works, but it's not 100% perfect. But the uh, cord on here has a dec decent length. And it's not your top notch cord. But it's okay. Of course, as you see on the back, I already showed you, you do have a suction control release here. I guess if you're going over, you know, some uh, delicate carpets or something or floor, whatever it may be. But um, if I remember the last time I used this, it was very nice. On the bottom, as you can see, it does have the uh, metal brush roll. And plate. It has two nice wheels here and they are rubber and then these two back wheels which what are they? That is a plastic with something on it but uh, nice wheels and the brush rolls on here are on the stiff side they're very stiff. You can't even see it, but maybe if I bring it up to you. These are very stiff. And then here, here, and here, you can pop these. And that takes your, I should lay it down. Laying it down makes things just a little bit easier. There we go. So the seal is still good around it, but you can see inside there's a little bit of rust, nothing major. The plate is in very good condition. Brush rolls in really good condition. I do have a piece of dog toy in there. Belt is in good condition. Now, see if I can get this put back together without a big deal. I wish more vacuums had that easy release on it. Huh. Anyways, you do have the nice pedal here. To release and recline does lay flat I guess you guys need to see this a little better so it does go down with one as you see that picks up the front of the head I guess if you need to go over it from one carpet to another or over a threshold or something but you can press it again and it does lay flat does have a headlight, which I believe still works. But I want to clean it up a little bit. It's been sitting down in my shop for a while. And uh, it needs a little sprucing.
So let's spruce her up. I hope everybody out there is having a wonderful day and enjoying the beginning of our new year. I think this once had a black rubber handle up here. I'm not sure. It's been so long since I've had this out. nice though. <sighs> How's people treating you out there in YouTube land? I really enjoy YouTube. Because instead of sitting there watching TV, I get to kind of pick and choose what I want to see when it comes to YouTube. Because I like to learn different things, and I get to pick the subject I want and when I want. Um, and 99% of the people that I have on YouTube that have subscribed to my channel have been awesome. So thank each and every one of you being so nice and kind and patient with me. Um... Not everybody out there in YouTube land is, are kind or generous that I've been finding out. I'm just putting a little bit of pledge on here to give a little bit of shine. I've noticed that uh, with some of the people that I was subscribed to or with, I had to stop because, you know, when I go on YouTube, I don't want to hear politics and religion and all that. I just kind of go on there just to, like you're doing probably maybe, to see a vacuum cleaner or, you know, just maybe to hear something in the background and zone out. And... You don't come on here to be yelled at or reprimanded or anything like that. But when that guy go into someone's channel and that's how they're treating me, um, or I see how they're treating someone, you know, correcting them. That looks much better. Nice and shiny. Look at that. What a wonderful world we have in Pledge. <laughs> but what I was saying is, you know, you go down and you leave a comment. If you're leaving a comment or suggestion or a question or whatever on my channel, I do my best to, to answer it. As soon as I see it, I try to answer it as best and honestly as I can. And uh, there are times where they might have missed the information in my video or didn't hear that I said something or did something or showed something because they have kids in the background or dogs or they get busy, a phone call, whatever it may be. People are busy. And they'll ask a question which I answered right in the video. I just answer the question. They took the time out of their day to write the question and are on my channel. And just out of honesty, respect, and just the right thing to do is I answer it. And sometimes that question would be on that same video two, three times, and I just answer it and move on. Sometimes the question or comment or whatever is not even on the subject. I don't care. I just answer it, take care of it, move on. None of us are perfect. I am not perfect. Far from perfect. But... 
you know, some of the people on here are, are kids or, or even kids with uh, special needs that have autism or whatever, or adults that have problems as well, you know, dyslexia or learning problems or whatever it may be. Spelling could be wrong, grammar wrong, whatever it may be. And uh, I do the best I can to answer the question. If I don't get it, then I say, hey, did you mean this? Or something like that. But to go on public air and to reprimand people publicly on something that was an honest mistake could be very hurtful or detrimental. Detrimental. <laughs> have a hard time saying that word. Um, to some people, and it could be heartbreaking. And if we don't have the couth or respect or dignity for these individuals that need love and care and understanding, then things could just spiral out of control. But it, it really bothered me. But anyway, that's not what we're about today. We're about this vacuum in here. I just say, let's not tolerate it. Um, we all deserve respect and honesty and dignity no matter what. So that's all I'm saying. I gotta find a plug. There we go. <sighs> okay, let's fire this stuff up, see what she sounds like. <laughs> this carpet um, is new. Lots of dog hair on it. Both of our dogs are pretty much white. But I'm just going to give this a quick run on the carpet. Pick up some dog hair. <laughs> It's the these uh, you could probably hear there's uh, this brush roll is very aggressive. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is lower you down on the tripod here, and uh, put down some rice and let's suck it up. Okay, there you see we have some rice on the floor. We are going to suck it up. Let's do it.
promise, here's a quick tour. Sorry about the shakiness, but so this is going into our TV room, okay? So here we have a our TV. And that's 75 inches of love with our equipment and it has surround sound. And then of course, as you go around the room, there's my chair and the surround sound system. And there's match chair, all the blankets. Then you go out here, that grandmother's clock there was his part of his Christmas present. I refurbished it, um, but it's in his office, which is being is under construction. So there's the roll top desk that came from his dad who passed away about a year ago. And uh, Matt's chair and his bagpipes and his computer system. That's the clock ringing. So here's what they're working on, starting from there. All the way down is 30 feet of bookshelves that needs to be complete. That's what's being built, part of the construction right now. So right now they're in the middle of being primed and painted. As you can see down there, the first three are done and there's a total of nine that has to be done. So, but yep, they just were finished being built. Now they're being primed and painted in Matt's office. Then you go down further and this goes into what used to be our chapel. You can kind of see way back there amongst all the dirt or the stuff is our chapel. But uh, look at all the crap in this room. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at all this stuff. Oh my goodness. So these are just boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes. There's my desk back there I can't get to. So now I'm at this tiny little desk. <laughs> But uh, all these boxes are of books. And we have a ton of books downstairs. So we're hoping to get all this done when the construction is finished. But there you go. So there's the bookshelves. Into Matt's office. And all the way down on the other end is our TV room. Well, there you go. Thank you for coming along to see this quick little video of the Bernina Vacuum Cleaner 6100. Again, anybody that has any information on this vacuum, please leave it down below. I'm going to do some research on it when I get downstairs and get warm. And uh, see what I can find on it. And uh, go from there. Hope you enjoyed that quick little tour of up here. And again... Sorry for the mess, but sometimes when you have construction going on, uh, your house can be messy. It is what it is. Um, and again, what I said before, be kind to everyone out there if you can. You know, have some patience, have some love in your heart, and we go from there, right? We can do this together. Enjoy each other for what each and every one of us can bring to the table, because you never know what you might learn for that day. Have an open mind, soul, and heart right? Anyways, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, ring that bell so that each and every time I put up a video, you will be notified. Again, thanks for coming along and I'll be talking to you soon. Have a good one.